Hi guys, today I will be showing you how to make croquettes. This is potato smash from leftover yesterday. We're going to try and make some croquettes. For that you need flour, breadcrumbs, and a beet egg. So let's get to it. So we're going to have to roll out here. Roll this into some type of a sausage. Like this. As you can see, it's <clears throat> getting longer. So we're going to leave it the way it is. And now we are going to cut them up into croquettes. Let's see how many croquettes we can get out of that. We're going to get a clean knife. And now we are going to cut them up into croquettes. There's one. That's two. Three. Four. Five and six, six croquettes. So now we are going to have to roll them a little bit firmer. Like so. So this is what the croquettes look like. Now we, we are going to put them into the flour at first. First the flour. I'm going to roll them in the flour here. Like so. Now this will <coughs> help the egg. Uh, we have to make a new croquette out of this last one because this one kind of fell apart. We have to roll the last one in the flour. So now we have the croquettes rolled in flour. I'm going to get rid of the flour and now we will roll them in the egg and put them onto the breadcrumbs let's see how that works so rolling in the egg let's roll them in the breadcrumbs now
and we are looking good. Let's do another one. I'm going to do the rest and when the rest of them are done I will show you what they look like. So this is what the croquettes look like when they are done. Now this is just a demonstration how to make croquettes. Now I'm going to put these into the deep fat fire and then I'm going to put them into the oven to keep them warm because I'm going to be having those for dinner and we might do a taste test and cut one open just to see what it looks like from the inside. So I'm gonna heat up a pot with some olive oil and we are gonna be making these in the deep hot fat in the pot. So you guys are going back at the stand and I will get a pot ready for the olive oil. Now I have a pot ready here. I'm going to put in some olive oil because we need, need that. For deep fat frying. Now this is uh, sunflower oil. That is enough. So once the fat gets hot, we'll be back. As you can see, the fat is getting hot, but that's not hot enough yet to bake the croquettes in there. This has to be boiling hot at least 180 degrees so we are going to wait another couple of minutes and then we can put those in I'm going to test one like this see what it does see if the, hot, the fat is uh, hot enough it is hot enough so uh, I'm going to put Put the rest of them in, like so. And you should watch when doing this because you could burn yourself. I'm going to turn it down a little bit because this is too hot. If you have the fat at 180 degrees or 280 degrees, you're fat will burn and then you are you have a problem now they should be a golden color color when they come out of the fat now it's crispy golden color like so I'm going to leave them in there a little longer then we get the next tree done These are looking good. Nice golden color. Now these are looking just right. So let's put put the last tray in. Last tray are uh, in. Now I'm going to turn this off. I'm going to turn the fat off because we won't be needing this anymore. If 
that takes at least one hour to cool off. When it's in a hot state like this. Look how golden they are. Nice. That is what you want. Nice golden, a nice golden color like this. Look at that color. Wow. Let's take them out. Now this is what you want. And this will tastes pretty awesome so I'm gonna let this oil cool off like I said one hour or one and a half hours to let this cool off and then I'm gonna put this back into the empty olive oil bottle and save it and put it back into the fridge because you can use this over and over again. So we are going to do a taste test. We're going to cut one open and see what it looks like from the inside and test one. And this is what it should look like in the inside. Nice and potatoy. Now this has a lot of flavor because we have put spices in this yesterday. Look at that, that is perfect. The outside, nice and golden. And now we're gonna do a taste test. One second. The pit master is gonna put the camera up a little bit. So we can do a taste test. So the pit master is gonna taste this. And we are gonna confirm that this tastes good. Mmm. It's nice and hot in here. That is perfect. It tastes awesome. Yeah. Now this can be done by anybody at all. This is easy to make and it tastes good. Mmm. These taste way better than the ones you can buy in the shop. That's for sure. So make your own croquettes and have them taste awesome. Yeah! So I hope you have liked the video. Subscribe to my channel. And we will see you in the next one. Bye bye!